Hi everyone. Welcome back to Signature's Life. Those who are watching this channel for the first time, please subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Fifty-five Cancri E is an exoplanet in the orbit of its sun-like co-star Fifty-five Cancri A. The mass of the exoplanet is about 8.63 Earth masses, and its diameter is about twice that of the Earth. Thus, classifying it as the first super Earth discovered around a main-sequence star, predating Gliese 876d by a year. It takes less than 18 hours to complete an orbit and is the innermost known planet in the planetary system. 55 Cancri E was discovered on 30th August 2004. However, until the 2010 observations and recalculations, this planet had been thought to take about 2.8 days to orbit the star. In October 2012, it was announced that 55 Cancri E could be a carbon planet. In February 2016, it was announced that NASA's Hubble Space Telescope had detected hydrogen and helium, but no water vapor, in the atmosphere of 55 Cancri E. The first time the atmosphere of a super-Earth exoplanet was analyzed successfully. Like the majority of extrasolar planets found prior to the Kepler mission, 55 Cancri E was discovered by detecting variations in its star's radial velocity. This was achieved by making sensitive measurements of the Doppler shift of the spectrum of 55 Cancri A. At the time of its discovery, three other planets were non-orbiting the star. After accounting for these planets, a signal at a round of 2.8 days remained, which could be explained by a planet of at least 14.2 Earth masses in a very close orbit. The same measurements were used to confirm the existence of the uncertain planet 55 Cancri C. 55 Cancri E was one of the first extrasolar planets with a mass comparable to that of a Neptune to be discovered. It was announced at the same time as another hot Neptune orbiting the red dwarf star Gliese 436 named Gliese 436b. In 2005, the existence of the planet E was questioned by Jack Wisdom in a re-analysis of the data. He suggested that the 2.8-day planet was an alias and a separate leap was a 260-day planet in the orbit around 55 Cancri. Radial velocity method used to detect 55 Cancri E obtains the minimum mass of 7.8 times that of the Earth, or 48% of the mass of Neptune. The transit shows that its inclination is about 83.4 plus or minus 1.7, so the real mass is close to the minimum. 55E is also coplanar with B. The planet is extremely likely to be tightly locked, meaning that there is a permanent day side and a permanent night side. 55 Cangri E receives more radiation than Gliese 436b. The side of the planet facing its star has temperatures more than 2000 Kelvin, approximately 1700 degrees Celsius or 3100 Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt ice. Infrared mapping with the Spitzer Space Telescope indicated an average front side temperature of 2573 Kelvin and an average back side temperature of around 1644 Kelvin. It was initially unknown. 55 Cangri E was a small gas giant like Neptune or a large rocky terrestrial planet. In 2011, a transit of the planet was confirmed, allowing scientists to calculate its density. At first, it was suspected to be a water planet. As initial observations showed no hydrogen in its lime and alpha signature during transit, Inherit speculated that its volatile materials might be carbon dioxide instead of water or hydrogen. Large surface temperatures, radiations on 55 Cangri E have been attributed to possibly volcanic activity releasing large clouds of dust which blanket the planet and block thermal emissions.